Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Ampicillin. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Ampicillin is a beta-lactam antibiotic. Amoxicillin is a similar drug to Ampicillin. Now let us see about the mechanism of action of Ampicillin. Formation of bacterial peptidoglycan cell walls are mediated via proteins called Penicillin binding proteins or PBPs. Ampicillin binds to PBPs and blocks peptidoglycan cross linking. This leads to inhibition of bacterial cell wall synthesis. Now, let us see about the uses of ampicillin. Ampicillin has an extended spectrum of coverage as compared to penicillin. So, it can be used for infections caused by gram negative rods like. Haemophilus influenzae, E. coli, Proteus mirabilis, and Salmonella. Gram positive cocci like Enterococci, gram positive rods like Listeria monocytogenes, and gram negative cocci. Amoxicillin can also be used against Helicobacter pylori. It is a part of the triple therapy regimen used for Helicobacter pylori. Now, let us see about the side effects of ampicillin. Allergic reactions, non allergic skin rash, and diarrhea are the main side effects of ampicillin. It is important to remember that ampicillin and other beta lactam drugs have a beta lactam ring in their structure. If the beta lactam ring is cleaved by bacterial enzymes like beta lactamases, the drug becomes inactive. Certain beta lactam drugs like penicillin, ampicillin, and piperacillin are more susceptible to bacterial beta lactamase cleavage than others. So, we have to use clavulinic acid or sulbactam. These are drugs which inactivate bacterial beta lactamases. These are added to amoxicillin or ampicillin to broaden the spectrum of coverage, especially against gram negative organisms. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my pharmacology playlist. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.